On a recent live stream, ASIO Joe asked me to make a video about the easy way to get the Grounded Trophy, or as Rocco likes to put it, Grounded, Dan's version. Anything for you, ASIO Joe. Hey guys, Dan here, aka Wolf, and today we're going to be talking about how you can get the Grounded Trophy, Dig to Graves, for The Last of Us Part 2, at a highly reduced challenge than what the developers intended, which will feel similar to playing the game on very light difficulty, only with much more scarce materials. But that's alright, because if a baby mode gamer like me could do it with no problem, then you can too. But first, I'm going to ask you, if you are jamming out to the content that I produce, subscribe to me, leverage the unrivaled power of that notification bell, and don't forget to leave your love in the comments. Come talk to me on Twitch, where I stream throughout the week and we are always having the fun and engaging with each other in interesting and unique ways. After all, you never know what I'm going to come up with next. So, you want that grounded trophy but you're not looking for an insane challenge. Never fear, Wolf's got your back. Prior to starting your run, which I recommend doing on Grounded Plus, to start with both girls fully upgraded and all of their weapons, simply access your options, go to the accessibility, go down to combat accessibility, and toggle on hostages don't escape, allies don't get grabbed, enemies don't flank, reduced enemy perception, reduced enemy accuracy, invisible while prone, weapon sway off, and slow motion while aiming. Back out of this menu and go to Navigational and Traversal and toggle on Enhanced Listen Mode and Infinite Breath. With these options turned on, your grounded experience is going to be greatly diminished in challenge. In fact, the game will pop up this warning. You have options enabled that we recommend disabling for grounded, but rest assured that this will have zero impact on interfering with your ability to get the trophy when you finish the game. Additionally, finishing the game on Grounded Plus will also give you the trophy. Enemies don't flank, reduced enemy perception, and reduced enemy accuracy really dumb down the Grounded AI to a level more reminiscent of very light or light difficulty. Not to mention that you can use Listen Mode on a difficulty where Listen Mode was not meant to be used. And don't forget that with Enhanced Listen Mode enabled, you can ping objects and material as well by hitting the circle button instead of square with listen mode engaged. And given how scarce material is in Grounded, this will really help you locate those hard-to-find resources. Additionally, you can use enhanced listen mode to locate stalkers that are otherwise undetectable with normal listen mode. And if things get too much for you for some reason, or you simply don't want to waste material during a certain encounter, invisible while prone is essentially an unofficial cheat mode that allows you to crawl past everyone that is not a scripted encounter. As long as enemies don't step on you or don't have line of sight on you before you go prone, you really don't exist to them. You can use this during the descent chapter to crawl past the section of the hotel with the bloater and all of the clickers and stalkers to conserve material prior to your battle with the rat king. I managed to be material rich for this encounter and turn the Rat King into a queso flameado in no time, and I'm sure you will too. Another thing to remember is, when playing Ellie on day 3, do not waste any more material on the arcade bloater than what is necessary. Whatever material she enters the aquarium with is what she will start Santa Barbara with to finish your final section of the game with her. With these options toggled on, I am confident that your grounded experience is going to be a walk in the park, much more than you might believe. If this video meant something to you, you can help me build something great by subscribing and sharing the good vibes and good spores of this content across the four corners of the internet. You can stay connected by joining my Discord and chatting it up with me and other members of the Wolf Pack, where we're always keeping it positive and focusing on the fun. Just click on the Discord link in the description, follow me on Twitter, and show me pictures of the Wolf in your life. And don't forget that I have other videos that may provide you with something you didn't know that you were searching for. Until next time, I will catch you in the wilderness of the mental. Who knew the Rat King could taste so yummy?